I was on the phone with my son the other day. I would never put you on the spot. I said to my son, what does wild success look like, look like for you this year? And he was like, you know, playoffs. And I was like, listen, that's a pipe dream. For me, wild success is improvement. And the thing that I really appreciate about you as a general manager is that you have put an amazing team around Zach. And, you know, we're going to see if Zach's going to become the man we hope he's going to become. But for the first time in a long time as a fan, I genuinely feel like you have given him all the tools he needs. I mean, you can't do any much more than you've done. And, and, and we appreciate As fans, we appreciate it. You hit the nail on the head. I mean, improvement. And I feel like we've seen that the first, the first week plus um, throughout the entire team, not just the quarterback, but the, throughout the entire team. And so that's a, one of Coach Shaw's big things is, hey, just go to bed better than when you woke up this morning. Just that 1%. You do it. And, and, and I know people kind of roll their eyes and, oh, cliche, but it, it's real. Like, we just, we just got to keep stacking good days together, get better, stay healthy, and uh, there will be improvement, right? Is, is that a lot of pressure to put on a young kid? Or does, is that just, that's what, if you're going to be an NFL quarterback, you know, you're the lead singer in the band. That's, you, that's what comes with the yeah, job. It comes with the territory. You know, I think, and that's the great thing about about Zach is, uh, you know, he doesn't back down from that 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 pressure. He knows. Uh, I feel like he he gets it. He understands um, w w what's expected of him as an NFL starting NFL quarterback, and he embraces it. Gary mentioned the expectations real quick. Like, is there a number, a win total that you maybe set for yourself that you would like to see this team achieve to fulfill all of these expectations you have for the club? Well, yeah. I mean, I think it kind of it goes back to what. Gary and I were just talking about um, it's just it's improvement. You know, we've got to be better than we were last year. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, that last year, the last couple of years haven't been good enough. And, you know, we've uh, we, we've got it. We've got a great, great group of uh, people assembled and they're they're really busting their butts every day. And you know, I hope you guys stick around and uh, and watch, you know, because these guys are really put in a ton of work and um, it's improvement. It's that's right. Gary, Gary said it and he was right on point. I'll take the I'll take the losses as long as the losses are like, you know, even if the losses start to, to to mount up to more than I thought, if they're overtime losses, if they're last second losses, if there's like, oh my God, if this would have gone that way kind of losses, those you can live with. It's you know the blowouts yeah. or 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 the ones where the team shoots himself in the foot. So that's I'm looking for the close games and right. just be competitive. Yeah, tough, disciplined, competitive. And I think you know we've got one, one of the things you should you guys should watch a day of practice. I mean we've got a uh, we're expecting to play in a lot more close games this year, and it's going to come down to, to special teams and kicking. And we've got a great kicking competition going on between Eddie Pinero and, and Greg Zerline. And so um, you know we're we're expecting you know, whoever wins that you know to to really help us this year. Wise man once said, "Don't take the foot out of football." Nope, and it's important. <laughs> <You> can't. <laughs>